Okay, so we got this cool dinosaur bubbler machine open. And it's really pretty beautifully elegantly designed here. Um, you just have the basics, you got the, the batteries supplying about six volts over here. This trigger simply pushes against a little push button right there. That's kind of a nice little, just very simple design. You see a bunch of wires that go to a bunch of fun, just LEDs, just to make stuff blink and do stuff. There's like a circuit board that just has one resistor on it. I think this, yeah, this goes to all the, the LEDs. Um, but then the real, the real money maker stuff's right here. So it's just powers one motor, um, which is nice, that goes to a kind of fun gearbox here. This gearbox looks like it does a couple things. Um, there's the bubble solution, and there's just one tube here. Um, the other bubble wand that we're going to take apart, this one, it actually has two tubes. So I was interested about what's going on there. Is one like putting air back in so it could be more airtight or something like that? Um, does this one leak more because of this? Uh, I'm not sure. We're going to have to take the, the other Snow Princess uh, bubble wand apart as well. <laughs> But so this is where this is where the bubble juice comes from. It then goes to a little peristaltic pump here. And so this peristaltic pump is, I'm guessing, controlled by the little gearbox here. It spins around and then it just pumps the liquid up to this thing. And this thing is just a little nodule here that has a special shape. I'm gonna have to look at it and examine it more later that somehow create a surface that these things can wipe across without making a big crazy mess all over the place. So it works really, really well. Um, it just kind of fills up just a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's like a very metered amount or if it's just like, um, you know, this thing spins quick enough that it just keeps refilling. Um, yeah. And then the main part of the motor here goes to the fan, and the fan causes all the actual bubble blowing action. But there's still a third thing that needs to move around here. So this motor is actually moving three things. Um, it goes up to this other part of the gearbox, which then has this little shaft, and it's rotating this tiny gear up here that then is turning this whole outer gear that moves the actual bubble wands around. So there's the fan that's causing the air. There's the bubble, uh, this gear thing up here that's moving the bubble wands around so that they keep continuously wiping against uh, the, the bubble filling thing. And then there's the part of the gearbox that fills the peristaltic pump that sucks up the juice and then uh, goes over to here and fills up this very special little reservoir. Um, it seems like they have pretty tight tolerances there. It goes like pretty flat against that. We're gonna have to get a closer examination of that reservoir. That's the real interesting part of this that separates it from regular bubble uh, machines. They just have like a big vat of free floating liquid that these things dip into because these things don't really have to dip, they just pass by and there's very little mess. So that's the, that's the really cool dipless aspect of this type of bubble machine. All right, we're gonna take apart the other kind. Okay, time to disassemble the Snow Princess. Woo! <laughs> okay, now I got bubbles all over the work surface. That's not the best way to start this. All right. Okay, we got the Snow Princess bubble machine open. And this thing is just beautiful, simple, elegant quality all the way through. Um, compared to the much more convoluted dinosaur bubble machine where there's all kinds of extra stuff and claws which are pretty cool but pretty unnecessary this one we could take apart in under five minutes and it's pretty streamlined design so 
we have again the basics uh, there's a little battery pack here you can see uh, just starting from uh, the most simple parts uh, there's like a plus terminal and a minus terminal they're going to this little circuit board that has pretty much this uh, uh, just on off it's a static on off button or like a click on click off if you take this little guy off you can see there's one of those little blobs that you find in a lot of toys that probably contains all the music coding and the coding for the flashing patterns of the lights which are pretty fun and so right there is the kind of like music blob and it shows you the other parts of the breakout right there let me zoom in um, so this is the thing controlling everything but pretty much the basics all go and of course that goes to like this little speaker it goes to the little LEDs uh, that are around but the real the real key stuff is all contained in this nice little unit here and this is just pretty beautifully compact there is the bubble fluid um, it actually has two uh, tubes coming to it and the tubes are actually slit up the side to make it a lot easier to suck up the bubbles compared to the the dinosaur one so that's pretty nice and it has two tubes I think to be able to make a much tighter seal these tubes are like pretty much completely sealed in there unlike the dinosaur one the lid is just like I'm a bottle with a little hole in it so not 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 the greatest thing um, but so I kind of trust this design to not leak as much. Look, I have it upside down. It's not really leaking. Um, and it just seems to make smarter sense. Because, uh, like these other bubble machines, so once this gets power, everything goes to this one little DC motor here that pretty much does everything. On one side of the DC motor, you see it just spins a fan around. Just spinning a thing, so you have a constant stream of air. Uh, and then they looks like they have a little capacitor on the DC motor just to help uh, balance it out, keep it going. But then there's three other things they need to um, control with this one motor that move around. So one thing is down here, there's a little gear. Um, and this gear looks like it spins these wands uh, that are moving around on the surface here. And so then uh, they just make it spin, the fan makes it blow, and then it goes out. But of course, the special sauce is they have the same type of little reservoir uh, thingy here, where uh, these things move past it, and it actually makes a film across the front of the bubble. You can see there's a film there, there's not a film here. So they move right past this little shapey thing, that it gets its bubble solution from a peristaltic pump um, over here that then fills up this little reservoir right here. But then, you know, I'm actually noticing this right now. I think the reason they have the two tubes, check this out, they have uh, a little catchment. So it actually drains back into here. So you're much more efficient with your bubble usage. There's nothing just spilling out. It gets slurped back up here and then goes right back in your bottle for getting used for more bubbles. So that's an impressive design there, Snow Princess. Um, notice their tagline is frequent bubbles. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with this. And so I think from just look, like these three components right here, you can have a very easy wearable bubble machine uh, going on and if we get a couple of these modules we're gonna be unstoppable so but I want to look more into how this little meniscus bubble surface tension creator thingy works and makes it so it doesn't just spill liquid everywhere um, it was just all in the, the shapes of everything I'm not sure but it works really good and maybe we can 3D print a new one or make one with even bigger bubbles. Who knows? So that's the Snow Princess bubble machine tear down. Okay, so we're gonna test if we can get the 
bubble maker working with an external power supply um, or basically an Arduino. So I have the Arduino hooked up. Um, we have the VN going to and the ground going to where the bubbles and ground were. And now we're gonna see if I activate it, if it actually turns on. Hey, lights turn on, bubbles are coming out. There we go. It's really bubbling at me. <laughs> so that's cool. We don't even need a whole external different power supply. This is actually just doing the five volts. I was worried because usually it was having six volts, but uh, this seems to be going pretty good. Um, oh, and it seems like there wasn't a good connection, so squeezing it actually made it a little better. Um, <laughs> oh, heck yeah. That's running with an Arduino, and this guy powered off just a USB battery pack. So that's doing great. Okay, that's a lot of bubbles in the lab. <laughs> Yeah, got it controlled. Now, if friendship is real from the bubbles, they will tell us, friends, friends, friends. not friends, friends, not friends, 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 fri